All right, so this video is going to go over calibrating your Craftsman torque wrench. This is the 20 to 150 foot pound torque wrench. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this handle off and then we're going to put a 25 pound weight on this and see how accurate it is. Um, the way you have to do this is take this handle off and there's an, an adjustment nut there that moves where the handle is. Um, you're going to put the threaded shaft in to compress the spring enough so it's 25 pounds torque when we measure it, and we'll do that in a sec, and then we need to put our handle back on. So the first thing we do is take this off. There's uh, there's two nuts in there that we need to take out, so we take the first one off, and this is a 19 millimeter uh, socket. I'm going to speed things up here a little bit. Okay, that first nut is off. Real quick note on the 19 millimeter socket that I used uh, in the end here. Um, this one is probably about, it's got thinner walls than this one. And this one fits fine. This other one does not fit. So while the extended socket would have been nice to use, I could not use it because I think it's about not even a millimeter wider, but it's the slightly thicker walls does not allow it to insert there like this one works. So just an FYI, if you've got a 19 millimeter socket and it's not working, you need something with a little more narrow walls. So set that aside. And then the second nut, I don't have a long socket, so I'm just gonna put this in place and just insert my socket enough right there. That's enough to grab and uh, loosen that. Oop, went all the way in and out, made it that far. Okay. All right. So now our handle can come off. There's our two nuts. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a vise, and we're going to dial this. You can turn this, not the nut, but the actual shaft. That compresses or releases the spring a little bit. We're going to dial it in for 25 pounds. So I've got my torque wrench. Uh, the handle's been removed. It's it's in a vise. And I've marked from this center point out 12 inches. And that's where this is sitting. It has kind of a tapered edge on the inside. This is a 25-pound plate weight. And I'm not going for NASA accuracy. This is uh, weekend warrior, uh, you know, car work accuracy. And it, I think it'll do fine. Um, but right now it's got 25 pounds on. If I barely press on this thing, it's, it's going. So it's like right there. So I could probably loosen it just a touch. So I'll do that. So it's releasing now, but you see if I, yeah, right there. But if I put like, I don't know, about 10 degree turn, maybe a little bit more. It'll hold on its own. So that looks pretty good right there. Yep. So I'm going to call that good for 25 pounds. All right. So now we know that we've got our torque wrench dialed in for 25 pounds. The next thing we want to do is reinstall the handle. And we're going to want to line up that five uh, right in the middle here. So then we've got 20, uh, 20 and then five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to move this nut to make sure that once I slide this handle on, it lines up right in between midpoint between the 20 and the 30. So let's go ahead and see how this fits right now. That's actually not bad. Um, I'd almost maybe go six of a turn. Again, we want that five to line up halfway between the 20 and the 30. Maybe that was too much. Let's go right there. Here are five facing up. I'm gonna call that good. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is reinstall our nuts on the end here. Again, this is kind of tricky because I don't have a long enough socket. So I'm gonna put this in by hand. You don't want to let this drift. So keep that in the same spot. So it doesn't mess with the internet. Get that tight on there. There we go. And then I'm gonna hold the handle while I tighten it down to make sure that, again, that doesn't twist as, as it shouldn't. So I'm gonna get that in there. Okay, that's tight. And then I'm gonna get the second nut put on. I'll speed it up here a little bit. 
And then I'm going to torque that by hand so I know it's tight here. There we go. And so we've got that dialed in at 25 pounds. So if we go to zero, you can see we're down on that 20 mark. So 25 is halfway between, and we know this is set to 25, so we are done. Hope this helps.